Hello everyone, Kille Kandavine here playing Flow Sacti Manager 2018. We are about to go into GP Alanya. Uh, we can actually see that the tiredness has gone up quite a lot. Didn't really expect that. So, uh, the, the next week I put in a break and then we're gonna go hard training so that we can have uh, at least a decent fitness coming into. Uh, Eastern Spring Trophy because I feel like that is the, the next really important step but uh, I'm very hopeful we can get a surprise uh, here in one of these three races as well so today we're gonna go into Alanya in Turkey uh, our fitness is still a bit low a bit worried that our fitness will do with our fitness peak we want to get but uh, whatever happens we will deal with it uh, looks like a fun race I hope it will be a good one for us and we are a teammate today uh, when we have that objective and I would like to go up to the front as soon as possible because it can cost a little bit of energy to pull the peloton so I'm gonna get the, the 20 kilometers as fast as we can. Hopefully the pace will not be that high here early on. Uh, the attack have come in and it looks like the peloton is not that concerned with chasing them. I am 70 effort now and uh, they are allowing me to be up front. So we will see how long that will last but uh, I will focus on that for the first part here of the race uh, and then I'm gonna slow down and then I'm gonna see if I can take part here towards the end of the stage because it looks interesting even if it's pretty flat towards the, the, the goal line so a quick update here we are 43 kilometers from the goal line and you can see that there are 21 people here in the front group I have two teammates with me would have been really good if I could get help from them and the pace in these ups and downs is just crazy 85 effort all the way pretty much from the first climb um, very impressive that we've been able to keep up and that we have been been able to keep up rather well actually I feel like we might be in a position for top 20 maybe even top 10 here and uh, if we are feeling strong, maybe we can even get uh, a podium finish. That would be the dream here today. So the climbing is down, done. <laughs> we are just downhill and then flat towards the end here. Uh, 89 effort uh, is what we had to use to, to keep up. But we are 11 riders left. You can see that our teammate dropped up off actually in the last uh, tough climb there towards the there oh, this is really really tough I'm not really sure if there are any other strong sprinters here we are at least decent when it comes to sprinting at least from a stats points of view uh, eight and a half kilometers left to go this is uh, this is going to be a tough one last little bump in the road here actually they are trying to make a move Wow, 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 wow. Can we keep up? Yes, we can. We can keep up. We can close that gap. Wow, they are moving fast. Let's use the energy gel. Six kilometer mark. We need to keep an eye on uh, how much we will have left when we get towards the end here. Uh, 91 effort. Like that is a good move at this point. We want to save a little bit of strength here towards the end. We are actually up in front. That's not good. 87 effort. Two and a half kilometers left to go. Two kilometers left to go. We are up in front. We are using up quite a lot of re uh, red bar. We are blinking yellow. That's good. One kilometer left to go. Do we have anyone behind us with enough sprinting power? Yes, we have quite a few of them. Not really able to keep up. We probably wasted a little bit of the energy we should have used for the sprint there. And it looked like they made an attack, but still 10th place. 
not not too shabby good job killer card divine looks like the the break week paid off you can see that here that the the fitness bar is still moving as it should it's it's it stopped moving up but it will go up again for the important part here and uh, the tiredness went down quite a lot as well so that's nice to see now it is time for uh, KP Slovenian Istra Isula to Isula interesting stage actually this so uh, we can also see that our fitness is at 89% now and that means that we can reach the maximum fitness peak so today they want us to be a teammate we are having a race day conditioning of minus one but uh, I feel like that shouldn't affect our potential to, to compete today um, biggest chance we have is probably to hold out towards the end and then we can see that there are some interesting small hills there towards the end that uh, should heat up the competition Thirteen kilometers left to go, and uh, we can see that there is uh, actually a, quite a big group, sixty-eight people. It was just uh, uh, one hundred something before the small climbs started. So th the pace have been high when we are going uphill uh, every time we went up this hill at this stage, but uh, didn't really change the peloton much until now towards the end. I feel like we are in a good position, we are at 89 effort and I'm hoping we will be able to keep our position This is uh, not the last climb So we will probably need to go quite fast up this final bit we are coming up to Let's move up to 85 effort Good. Our position is strong. Little bit left to go. Five kilometers left to go. Oh, we use the energy gel. I plan to use that just after the six kilometer mark. Uh, let's see if we can move into position here a little bit. That's better. Actually, I would like to go 95 effort up this climb if it is possible. Three people are moving up ahead. Uh, I fell back a little bit. I thought it was a little bit too early. Now let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's start the sprint. Let's start the sprint. We are coming up in about 10th place, but I feel like we will be able to move up a little bit. It's going to be a top 5 finish. Ah, we still had a little bit of strength left, we should have went a little bit earlier, but 5th place, that is the best we have done so far this season. So 5th place, good showing, you can see that it is Branislav Samaloa, who won the stage, the old Belarusian cyclist, Andreas Vangstad. Interesting. Uh, let's see the EXP gain first top 5 in a continental race, 20 points. And we get 31 points for our job up in front, plus the 5th place finish. So we can actually see that we have gotten very close to another level up. We might be able to accomplish that, not in the next race, but in the next episode. So that is good. Only what's that? Uh, 73 points left to go for a level up. Uh, we have one more race to do in this episode, so let's push towards that one now. So, the Porek Trophy in Fontana Selena should be a fun stage as well. We see there are some hills here towards the end. So it's going to be interesting. And 90 fitness. Can we actually accomplish something here? Uh, doubtful, I guess, but it depends on the competition. Are we amongst the favorite? Nope, we are not. Uh, let's push into the race. 
the race is on and we actually got a new uh, race strategy today finish in the top 50 feel like that is something we can do uh, actually let's have a look they also said breakaway get some exposure during the breakaway over at least 65 kilometers of the final 140 kilometers of the stage hmm that's not very easy would they allow us to go into a breakaway at this point see that four riders are trying to get away the pack is not really chasing let's move up in speed and uh, let's attack and let's look behind us are they chasing us looks like three more people are trying to follow us but they are not trying to chase us from what I can see we need to go 85 effort to see if we can catch up to the people in front of us we have 40 seconds we need to find we're gonna do 89 effort we're gonna push it real strong here the peloton is not chasing we are catching them slowly 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 25 seconds this climb to see if we can catch them a little bit okay, downhill we need to go 95 in the downhill the people that tried to attack behind us gave up and we are going to be five people in the breakaway thank you very much there we are <laughs> we have joined them and we are actually Trying to set the pace here a little bit. No, we're gonna we're gonna slow down. Uh, we're gonna do some work here today. We we need to make sure that we have a decent lead because remember that we need to have 65 kilometers in the final 130 kilometers of the race, and we are 184 kilometers from the goal line now. Uh, and then after we accomplish that, we need to still finish in the top 50. So that's a, a very tough challenge, and we are going way too fast now. So I will see you later on in the stage. Most of the day have been quite calm, but uh, in the last bit here before this uh, final climb, final big climb, the pace have been rather high by the breakaway group here. I just been hanging on, uh, but they are letting me lead now when we going uphill, and uh, we should be just about point where we will succeed with our goal for the day to be in the breakaway for 65 kilometers there we go breakaway objective 100 percent now we can just uh, take it a little bit more easy uh, might be difficult might be very difficult because uh, it looks oh we're actually being caught perfect timing i thought we still had over a minute and would make it to the top here but now we can just relax a bit uh, stay with the peloton we can see that our green bar is halfway done or just about so it might be difficult to accomplish something here towards the end but uh, top 50 is the goal and i feel like we should be able to accomplish that unless something weird happens less than 12 kilometers left to go less then 12 we are just about at 11 now uh, a lot of things have been happening <laughs> in the peloton but it came yeah it, it, it all just came together uh, people were attacking here up this uh, climb and uh, there was a s quite a decent gap actually i think it was about 30 seconds but uh, they couldn't hold it uh, maybe they didn't really want to get away from the peloton they just wanted to up the pace or something and it didn't really work out for them so they wasted a lot of energy Less than 8 kilometers left to go now, we should be entering this climb now. Just about now. 89 effort. Could we set a pace up this climb? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. 89 effort. Will that be enough to create anything? There have been strong riders up in front here. And uh, I think they still want to accomplish something. We use the energy gel with 5.5 kilometers left to go. We are up in front. We are at the top, we're gonna slow down for a little bit again, 89 effort, just keep position. Maybe we 
should have attacked there in the downhill. Let's do that. Let's attack now. A little bit late, maybe. Two kilometers left to go. One kilometer left to go. We're gonna make it into the top 50. But it's not going to be much more than that. Maybe a top 20. Maybe a top... Uh, actually in 14th place, I guess. Yes, last in this group. Uh, Dusan Rajovic managed to win. And, and I really hope this is going to be a level up. We managed to accomplish both of the goals our team had set for us. And uh, since it was top 50 and we managed to get 14, I hope we will get a lot of points for that. So 14th place, you can see that our teammate actually, uh, Roy Efting, managed to get 12th place. And you can see also that there are some good riders up here. Scott Cameron looks like an interesting upcoming sprinter. Uh, let's look at the EXP. 50 points for the day. That is not enough to level up. We are 13 points away. Close, but no cigar. But we are in a good position now. Coming into the next challenge for us. Four days here in... Uh, Croatia. Now that's going to be interesting. Uh, we should get a level up. Uh, not before that, I guess. Let's look at the Yeah, we will we will be a few points away from a level up, so we should be able to get a level up on the first or second stage there as well. That's going to be fun. Uh, until then, I am Killer Cow Divine. Thank you all for watching.